Hello and welcome to the Coast of Maine webinar. I'm Cameron Bonzi. I am the Vice President of Marketing for Coast of Maine and I'm actually coming to you from the Coast of Maine. Uh, it's a beautiful day. Uh, it's a great day to get out in the yard and do some gardening. And what I'd like to do is really introduce you and your staff to who Coast of Maine is and what makes our soils special. Uh, what will make the customer return, and what will allow you to get a good margin at a fair price, uh, take care of your customers, and make sure that they continue to buy local. It's a huge part of what we do. Um, so you can see from the, from the front here, we have a young girl with carrots in her hands. I love that picture. Um, if we go to the About Us page, I will click on that, and you can see that is what the coast of Maine is like and it's gorgeous um, and so we have a facility up in Marion, Maine that has over 28 acres um, we do a lot of composting there we take a lot of lobster shells and we have Jeff Moore who actually manages the compost doing some temperature taking there and making sure that over sometimes up to eight and a half months he produces a bag of soil that makes your customers happy and makes us happy and actually produces the best plants, vegetables, annuals, perennials, whatever you're growing. Um, you can see that we want to be the most trusted partner to professionals and homeowners who, like us, believe that authentically natural and organic growing garden and lawn products play a critical role in the health of our communities and the living planet that we share. It's a big part of who we are. Um, and I just wanted to show you a couple other things. This, this is our team. Um, there's a lot more people to it. Carlos started the company. John runs the books. Sid does all the, uh, has all the great ideas with how to get equipment and make us better. And then we've got a bunch of people in the field um, that want to help you. They want to help your staff. They want to help you train. And you can see we're a pretty happy crew. So let's get into the products. Um, I'm going to go here, and this is a resource for you too. I'm just using our website so that you can go back and you might say, oh, I saw that in that webinar, and I want to go back to what Cameron talked about in the webinar. This is our complete line of products. So for today, what we're going to do is we're going to talk mostly about the soils, some fertilizers, and we'll touch on some other things that we do too. I don't want to take too long with all of this. I want to be able to enable you to find this information yourself, be able to work with your employees, and at the end of the day, do uh, good, proper training and actually inspire your employees to potentially come to our website, maybe look at some of our videos that are on the side here that are testimonials and training videos. But uh, one of our most successful products, if you're selling a potting soil and you're not selling our Bar Harbor blend, uh, you're probably missing the boat. Um, our products and this potting soil are approved for organic growers by the Organic Material Review Institute. Um, so the Bar Harbor is uh, a blend of compost. It has peat, it has perlite, has some dehydrated hen manure, um, and it's an amazing bag of, of soil. It, it actually comes in several different sizes. Uh, it comes in eight quart, 16 quart, one cubic foot, and two cubic foot. Um, and if you're a grower, uh, we actually uh, can actually put that in a super sack and get it to you too. So you might want to ask us that. Um, you can see right here that it is it combines um, compost that has salmon, blueberry, lobster, uh, as well as calcium and chitin rich shells, uh, sphagnum peat, and I mentioned perlite, and we also add some kelp meal in there. So a couple of things to remember. Uh, the calcium, uh, very important for developing plants and for it makes the plants stronger. Um, and the chitin-rich uh, lobster shells, they're kind of magic. They, they help uh, make the plants healthier. Um, that's part of where we source our materials is along the ocean and the lobstermen that work so hard to, to catch the lobsters, we take those and uh, turn them into uh, lobster compost and use them in several of our products. So 
Um, Bar Harbor blend, you'll see the retail pricing goes from $5.99 to the 8 quart to $17.99 uh, for the 2 cubic foot. Uh, and what we find is the beautiful packaging uh, and then the results of that package and what's in it. Uh, we'll bring the customer back to you over and over again. So any type of container gardening um, that your customer is doing, they're going to uh, they're going to want the Bar Harbor potting soil. We also have um, uh, video content right here. So if you if you learn better through video, we have a complete three minute video over here talking about Bar Harbor. Uh, when the customer comes, they also can calculate how much they need here. And then we have some other folks around the country that use Bar Harbor and love it. And we have some how-do videos. Uh, so all the material is there. Uh, it's just a great product. Um, I'm going to go back and go to really what is our core product. And that is our lobster compost. So it's, it's one of my favorite, although it's not just my favorite. Uh, again, it's got a beautiful bag um, and we just introduced an eight quart size in this so um, we think that's going to fly off the shelves too. Uh, the lobster compost, something that, that uh, people may not understand about our making our soil is that we have world-class composters. You saw that picture of Jeff walking down the compost aisle and taking the temperatures. There's a lot of work that goes into making compost um, and as I mentioned earlier, it's eight and a half months sometimes to make a bag of lobster compost. So the lobster shells come into our site and um, we take those lobster shells and begin to compost them almost immediately. This is what they look like when they first come in. And then you can see here the results with the plants are amazing uh, plants that are grown in lobster compost. So we're, we're pretty proud of that. And the impact that it has, I, I say all the time that it fundamentally changes the way that people grow and come back and rave about it. Um, that lobster compost is really, really high in calcium because it's all lobster compost. Uh, again, it's high in chitin. Uh, we blend it with some peat moss. It's really dark brown. It's it's complex. It's a wonderful culture for your plants. You can use it as a soil conditioner, which is what most people do. You can top dress. You can blend it in. You can plant it with the plant if you want to. Um, but it's a it's terrific. It's going to be gentle. Uh, a lot of times people think about compost and they don't want to burn their plants. Well, compost that's cured properly will never burn your plants. And one of the things that we always do is we make sure that the compost is settled and ready to feed your plants. Uh, you want to be thinking of it uh, for flower beds and borders, vegetable gardening, uh, herbs, and annuals, those heavy feeding plants that are like teenagers. Um, but you can see the bags merchandise well. They're really beautiful. We've got all the information on the back of the bag. Um, we've got some instructions on the back of the bag, so don't hesitate to turn the bag over with your customer. If you don't totally understand, you can read the back of the bag with the customer. It's okay to do that. Um, and then we have our OMRI approval also on the lobster compost. So it's it's a core product for Costa Maine. If you're going to bring in Costa Maine, you should definitely, definitely bring in the lobster compost and people will come back to buy it. Um, and it's, it's just a terrific product. Uh, speaking of coming back to buy it, our Castine blend raised bed mix is a phenomenal mix. Um, one of the things that happens with us, you'll notice we had Quaddy lobster compost. That's actually for Passamaquoddy Bay in Maine. It's cool. We, we name things for locations along the coast of Maine, but um, people don't always understand that part of it. And this is our Castine raised bed mix. Um, so what people see on here is they see organic and they see raised bed mix and you don't, you know, you notice casting, but that's not what it's about. What this is about is, Hey, I'm doing a raised bed and here it is. This is everything you need in that raised bed, um, to make your, your gardens and, um, 
your vegetables and your annuals healthier and better. Um, you, what we do with that is we've got compost as a base, and then we add in worm castings, which is just a wonderful uh, high nitrogen burst in there. Uh, the lobster, again, think about the calcium and the development of the cell walls, making the plants healthier. Kelp meal, which has over 60 micronutrients, which is really like um, giving your plant a multivitamin. Uh, then we got the mycorrhiza, and that actually attaches to the roots. It does a couple of things. It helps the roots uptake the nutrients better. It actually helps communicate. There's a wonderful amount of biology and communication that happens under the soil where everything is living. Uh, so it actually helps the plant find food too. Um, and the green sand adds minerals to the plants. Plants need minerals too. Um, and then biochar, um, that's really a unique product because of the formation of the biochar itself actually helps retain nutrients. It's kind of the shape of it. it. It absorbs the nutrients and then helps the soil act in a more slow release way and the, and the nutrients won't be washed out of the soil. Um, so it's, it's really a, a very biologically diverse, perfect raised bed mix um, that again will fundamentally change the way that a lot of the folks that uh, come into your store uh, actually um, plant their food and well not only food but the, all their plants too um, we again we have how-to videos you can calculate based on the application area and the depth and the, the size of the bag exactly what they're going to need for product and then again we have the video here so don't hesitate to come back to this page use the resources that we put in front of you and take a look at the video and refresh what we've talked about today. Um, so if we go back to the all products page, um, we're going to go down to our garden soil. This was uh, one of our first products that we developed. Uh, it's actually got a little lower pH and it says garden soil and a lot of people use it in the garden. But we kind of advertise it now as more of an all-purpose soil uh, for conditioning sandy soil and aerating compacted and clay soils. Uh, it's a great blend of salmon and blueberry compost with aged bark. We have some bark that comes from some piles that are over 50 years old. We've got the peat moss um, and we've got the limestone to pH balance it. Um, and it requires less uh, watering, we recommend it for the acid-loving plants like azaleas, rhododendrons, hollies, and uh, blueberry bushes. Uh, and this one, we don't have OMRI approval on this yet. Uh, it's more, we have the main Organic Farmers and Gardeners Association that approves it. So really, the idea that somebody has oversight of us and understands how we do our composting and where our inputs come from, you can always assure your customers that we have that. Um, and then again, same thing, video that will tell you more about the product. We've got the application area, and you can download this on your phone too. We'll probably do another video on how to do that. And then we've got some other uses that you can have too. So that's that's a great guide on the, the uh, Cobbs Cook garden soil. And uh, we're going to go back again to the next product that is a soil and Dark Harbor Blend. Now this is, we, we call this enriching mulch. And um, sometimes people talk about mulches. Mulches are very difficult to upsell. Uh, if you go to a big box store, uh, which we hope you don't, um, but if you do, you'll never find a product like this. Uh, this comes from a very old pile of, dark, of bark, several of them actually, that's over 50 years old. Uh, back in the day, the paper mills, uh, they didn't take that byproduct and use it for anything. They simply stripped it from the trees, put it in a pile, let it sit there, and now it is truly black gold, which I love. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to come out, it's going to be naturally dark, um, it's not colored at all. Uh, it's perfect. It's the it's really the perfect mulch 
So you can top dress your plants and protect them uh, over the winter um, and it will retain moisture. Uh, it will help suppress weeds just because of the shading. Um, and then it will break down into the soil. It'll actually help your soil become healthier. One of the things that happens with a fresh mulch is that as it's breaking down, it's actually robbing the plants of nitrogen. So this can be used, we have people that uh, top dress in their vegetable gardens, but they also will top dress around their bush trees and shrubs around their houses too. If you want something that's gonna be safe, that's gonna actually add to your soil and enrich it, you're gonna want the Dark Harbor uh, Enriching Milk. A tremendous product, uh, all natural, approved for organic growers by the main organic farmers and gardeners, not Omri yet. So, next we have our Fundy Enriching Milk. Now, Fundy and Dark Harbor are the same product, all right? The only difference is that we add kelp. Now remember what I said about kelp earlier being a multivitamin for your plants? That's exactly what it is. We've got the, um, the kelp meal that we add. It actually helps retain a little bit of moisture um, and, it, and it actually helps with the growth of plants too. So um, people will sometimes, this is gonna be a little bit more expensive. It's probably about a dollar more a bag uh, than the Dark Harbor is, uh, but a lot of people make that choice. It's kind of a tie between the two products. We have garden centers, some that sell a tremendous amount of the Dark Harbor Enriching Mulch, and then also some that sell a tremendous amount of funding. And it's kind of, you know, just people that want to be organic um, and want a high quality soil. And then we have people asking for our Monhegan Blend uh, Black Earth. And in this is compost based. Uh, it's approved for organic growers by Omri, so that's important to know. Um, it's great for overseeding and patching holes in lawns. And uh, again, it's more about uh, the biology that's in the soil because a healthy lawn that grows deeper roots and is fed naturally will actually resist drought weeds and disease. Um, you know, those issues come from an unhealthy soil. So if you really improve the soil health, you're going to cut down on a lot of the issues that you have. So um, Monhegan Blend Black Earth, uh, it's a topsoil. It's a lower uh, price point. So a lot of people say, hey, I want Coast of Maine. And we have some garden centers that use this product to not only for top dressing lawns, but also for general purpose. Um, it might be a great base soil to, to build a raised bed if somebody, if you don't carry the castine. Um, so don't hesitate to recommend that uh, again in the spring, overseeding a lawn, there isn't a better product for that. We can also, several of these products that I'm mentioning also come in super sacks. So if you have a need for that, or if you have a large customer, we can also ship direct to them. Um, and then our original soil. And I love talking about this, this product uh, because when Carlos Quijano um, started the company uh, back in 1996, uh, he had been a banker. He was doing some consulting for Great Eastern Muscle Farms, and uh, they were trying to, uh, they were actually trying to compost their mussel shells. And Carlos said, hey, I think I can take that, put it in a bag, and sell it to independent garden centers. And he was thinking more of a niche product at the time, more kind of high-end garden centers. Um, fortunately, with all the awareness of organic practices now, um, everybody wants these types of products. So it's awesome. Uh, you can see the bag's beautiful. Um, one of the things I should mention is the front of the bag where you see um, Passamaquoddy Bay, or Penobscot Bay, excuse me. Um, you, that's Eric Hopkins, uh, who is now a, a, a quite a famous artist in Maine, and his images grace the front of most of our bags. Uh, I do like this old signage that we had. If your plants are weak, give them mussels. Uh, healthy soil for healthy plants. And, and we should probably bring that sign back. 
but what you find with Penobscot is that it was the, the first product that we made and we kind of sold it for everything. So one of the things about compost is that if you've got a good balanced cured compost you can grow most things in it it's going to benefit most plants what we do is is we manipulate some of the inputs and manipulate the ph to actually make it better for certain plants and so we recommend um, penobscot blend for perennials shrubs and trees um, conditioning garden beds and borders too uh, and it's and it's kind of unique. It's the same as the Cobb's Cook as far as it's got salmon and blueberry compost, but then it's got these tiny mussel shell fragments in there. And those mussel shells are curved and they do uh, aerate the soil um, and they actually add calcium to the soil. But this is more of a native soil um, and it also helps kind of replicate more of a forest floor. Uh, it's more fungal uh, in its biology. Uh, again, uh, the results of that, we have garden centers actually that sell this stuff by the truckload to customers that have been buying it for 20 years. So uh, it's definitely a worthwhile product to bring in. So if we go down, let's see what else pops up here. Got the Penobscot blend. We did the lobster compost, the scudic composted cow manure. Um, on the scudic, we actually have a couple of sources of cow manure that we use, but in particular, uh, we use a Pineland Farms Natural Meats. Um, they raise their cattle without the use of growth hormones or antibiotics, so it's it's actually um, it's really a nice product. And we I should mention too that we also have a facility in in Pennsylvania, um, and the compost or the um, cow manure source is not coming to me off the top of my head, but in Maine, that's what we use. Uh, and so the, the Scudic, again, a little lower price point. People are used to buying cow manure, so um, a lot of people just want to use cow manure to grow in because they always have, um, and it's composted, it's balanced, it's not gonna burn anything, and um, it's really there to help recondition uh, your garden soil. Um, again, you can top dress, blend it in, uh, and it, you can even use it to plant trees and shrubs. Um, only comes in a one cubic foot size, uh, but we can also do super sacks. Uh, so don't hesitate to call us on that if you have somebody that asks. And you should know too that because we're, you know, still a young, nimble company, um, ask us. Ask us what we can do for special deliveries because we love doing special things for independent garden centers. Um, this Sprout Island Organic Seed Starter has been a big hit. Um, again, one of the products that we introduced that basically said what it was on the front. It is Sprout Island, um, but it says Seed Starter. So when people come in asking for a seed starter, we've got that available to you immediately. It comes in three different sizes. It comes in an eight quart, 16, and a two cubic foot. And um, it's if it, it's really a gentle, wonderful seed starter for starting a seed. Um, it's a blend of uh, compost. And we put peat moss and perlite in there. And then again, the kelp meal. Again, one of my favorite uh, fertilizing products and inputs, 60 micronutrients or over 60 micronutrients. Again, that multivitamin, it's a good place for your, your seeds to germinate. The worm castings give it a little bit of a nitrogen burst, the well-aged compost, and then we also put a little bit of mycorrhiza in there, get that communication going, attached to those little roots. Um, and then if you've got a professional uh, grower that's coming in, you'll notice here that we recommend for cell packs size 72 or larger. And because it is compost, um, it can have larger chunks than what uh, a lot of people are used to using in a seed starter. Um, in a, on the professional side, it, it can become cumbersome if they're doing a lot of trays. So that's our recommendation. And uh, But we've had a lot of positive feedback on that product too. And let's just go down and we'll keep going here. 
Uh, we do do a topsoil that is not approved for organic growers. We don't sell a lot of it. It's mineralized. It's, av it's available as an option. It's a lower price point. Um, call us for that. I won't go into detail on that. We don't sell a lot of it. Um, one of the superstars of our line is our Stonington Blend Growers Mix. And uh, this is a super diverse uh, soil. So what I mean by that is we put a lot of different inputs in it and we put a lot of amount of those inputs in there. Uh, Stonington was originally designed back in 2013 uh, because we we have always had a proactive um, marijuana caregivers network in Maine and we got a lot of feedback and saw a lot of posts on the internet where people were using our lobster compost plus pro mix and perlite to grow cannabis and then add their nutrients to it so what we said was well if they're already doing this maybe we can make it easier for them and so we took that lobster compost that is just amazing to begin with and then we added a bunch of things to it so again mycorrhizal fun fungi okay that is going to as I mentioned earlier on some of the other products, it is going to attach to the roots. It's going to communicate to where the food is and help that plant grow. And remember, we're, we're setting the culture and the biology to be the best place where that plant can grow to its greatest amount by itself. So it's an amazing thing. We got the kelp meal, over 60 micronutrients in there you got the balanced diet you got the fish bone meal which is really high in phosphorus and that's going to help during the budding phase when that plant goes through veg hits budding phase teenager you know think of a teenager raiding the refrigerator and um, eating voraciously um, that helps with that the alfalfa meal actually feeds a lot of the biology that's already in the soil it's got a lot of sugars in it um, it actually, I, I like to say it's like that guy that comes to the party late and wants to keep partying because when we blend it in at the end of our composting process, it reignites the soil. So what happens is we do our lobster compost eight and a half weeks. We blend in all of these inputs that I'm talking about. That soil starts to party again. It starts to heat back up and it wants to do all kinds of things. We let that heat up, settle down before we put it in a bag. And then we add worm castings to it. Also, we've got the peat, which is hydrophobic. And, um, and then we've got the cocoa fiber, which is hydrophilic. We do a nice balance between those two things. Um, you're gonna find that this soil retains moisture very well and retains nutrients because it's natural. Uh, the nutrients that are in there are insoluble, most of them. Um, and then we add the worm castings. I think I mentioned that before in the lobster compost. So if somebody is growing a cannabis plant using a, at least 15 gallons of soil, they have enough biology in that 15 gallons to take a plant from a clone or a seedling to harvest with water only. That's the magic all organic, amazing product. We sell a lot of it. So if you've got any folks, or if that's a part of your uh, plan, if you sell Fox Farm, you're probably gonna wanna bring in uh, Stonington because uh, you might wanna go online and do some research on it because the feedback on it is simply amazing. So that's our soil products. I'm gonna go and, um, because I don't want this to go on too long, the soils I've gone over. Uh, I'm going to point out a couple more things while we're here. Retailer support. Retailer support is a huge part of what we do. So we have always been selling to independent garden centers and supporting independent garden centers and doing a lot of things to drive traffic back to the independent garden center. Um, Years ago, we did a YouTube channel with a library of over 800 videos that are how-to. A lot of them highlight the independent garden centers that we work with. Um, and in today's world, now that we have all kinds of things, back when I started, we had YouTube and Facebook. 
Um, and now we've got Instagram and Twitter and Pinterest and all kinds of different communication platforms. So we know that the garden centers don't have time sometimes or the independent hardware store or the feed and seed store. We developed a Coast to Maine social media asset library that highlights all of our products here. So if you are looking for content in the spring when you don't have time because you got so many people coming in and you want more people coming in, you can go here and let's try the Castine raised bed mix. Uh, number one, there's a video here. This tells you how to advertise on Facebook if you want to do that, promote these posts. Um, and then we have posts already made for you. Castine blend for remarkable raised beds. Um, and you can pick the imagery that you want. This is formatted for Facebook. Um, and it's got different backgrounds that you can pick uh, that you think is the best. Gorgeous gardens. Um, and then we go down to the Instagram size ones. Remember, you can do these posts and set them up to come live down the road too. And we have a video that tells you how to do that. So you can get a lot of your marketing work done in off hours and have beautiful content to drive traffic to you. We include suggested hashtags that you just have to cut and paste. Um, and we've also got um, video content that we suggest you use to promote the casting and raised bed mix too. So, We've got a complete line of not only the world's best compost blends, but we also have social media support to help you bring people to you. We want to drive traffic to you. We want people buying local. Um, we've got some, we've got in here, we've got your UPC code book. We've got all the bag images for whether you're doing print or whether you're doing web-based web images. Um, we've got them all in here for download. We've got our different logos here that are available to you. We have signage. We can send you this signage too. Um, and then we do some really cool uh, stuff. We've got some great banners. Um, this part is pretty unique to us. These are our palette signs. And what we've done is a fellow by the name of Pete Bottomley really developed these. He works for us still. And um, these go in and go into these palette holders and they tell you the best part of the um, product that they're inserted in. So there's a couple of things. If you look here, this is your what they call your silent salesperson. So we get a lightweight formula, it's nutrient rich, it's an organic blend, crab shells, perlite, kelp and composted manure, Omri approved. Um, it's got a lot of information there. And then, of course, you can put the pricing in there, too. Um, that really helps, especially when it's busy, um, for people to understand what the product is and quickly make an assessment on whether they're going to buy or not. Uh, we do have Coast of Maine hats that are available for the sale. And if you're lucky, you know, you can ask one of your sales reps. You might get some hats. Um, we've got a retailer blog. Uh, instructional videos, and then our Growing Good program, and we've got a nice PowerPoint on capitalizing on cannabis and growing cannabis. We always talk about getting our products into your employees' hands. Don't hesitate to call us for a credit and say, listen, I got half a dozen employees. I gave them all a bag of lobster compost to try. We'll credit your account. Um, we know that that experience is really what makes our product sell. And then another piece that we do, simply because it's the right thing to do, um, we do a Growing Good program. It's a donation program uh, to local schools. We get a lot of calls from schools. So we take it a step further and we say, where do you shop? And we connect the garden center with the school or whoever the person is managing the school garden. And we donate soil through your garden center hardware store, feed and seed store, um, and we tell the school, anything that you do, please make sure that you are highlighting that independent retailer and talk about how they donated Costa Maine. So you can, you can put this out there and promote it uh, at your retail counter if you want to. 
uh, they fill out this form online and it comes in and actually I get a lot of these and then you can see we got a lot of happy faces here and teaching kids um, it's big it's a huge part of what we do and uh, we want to be able to drive traffic to you so I would encourage you to um, don't hesitate to call us and I've got a uh, thing an issue here where my screen has frozen up for a second here but I was at the end of my seminar or webinar I would encourage you to call us um, and to also connect with your salesperson uh, our salespeople are amazing we can connect you um, and we can also if you are on the website you can contact us right here um, so we've got our headquarters on Newbury Street Give us a call, 800-345-9315. You can fill out the form here. Again, that email will probably come to me. And we'll make sure that we follow up with you as quickly as possible. We want to be your best source for organically approved soils and fertilizers. And we want to make sure that we're driving traffic to your business.